Difficult childhood, an abusive past, and murder, all part of Jess Release's secret testimony given by convicted killer Jody Arias at her sentencing retrial. And the headline from all these new documents we're just seeing, well, she admits to murdering her boyfriend. And now she awaits a decision on her fate, which could come as early as today. Adam Housley is watching this story for us. He's live from our West Coast newsroom. Adam? Yeah, Jenna, more excuses, more reasons why Jody Arias says that may have led to the reason why she killed Travis Alexander. Interesting testimony. Now, this is secret testimony. It took a motion for it to finally be released yesterday at about, oh, noon or one o'clock, uh, depending on how you got it. Uh, but we really haven't seen Jody in court. In fact, there's been no cameras in court like we saw last year, except for on January 9th, where we got a shot of her from behind. It looked like uh, that jail had not been treating her well. As for this testimony that, again, was uh, done in secret, basically it was all by the defense. Uh, she, they asked her the simple question, did you kill Travis Alexander? She responded, yes. She says that it took her years to admit it. The new revelations, though, in this is once again tied to blaming someone else for her actions and state of mind, this time again blaming uh, her parents, insisting her parents used drugs while she, they were her mom was pregnant with her. And at one point in the testimony saying, quote, I have learned since that my mom smoked pot the day I was born prior to giving birth to me. She may have done it more throughout her pregnancy, but I'm not aware of that. So once again, placing blame on her parents. She had once uh, time during the trial insinuated her father may have abused her when she was younger as well. There were really no big bombshells. A lot of it was just a repeat of what we heard last year during the sentencing part of her trial and also during the part of her trial where the jury found her guilty. You might remember the jury found her guilty of murdering, murdering Travis Alexander, shooting him multiple times, uh, or shooting him, stabbing him multiple times, slitting his throat from ear to ear. Um, and now it seems like they're trying to throw spaghetti against the wall. The whole idea here, Jenna, is to try to get this jury to not give her the death penalty and life in prison. The judge also is expected to rule this week on whether or not the defense motion of throwing this case out and just giving her life in prison is valid. They're saying that uh, there was a mistreatment of a hard drive. That's their whole argument. Basically, they're trying anything they can do to, to save her life. We'll see Jenna. what happens, though, the end result of all of this. Adam, thank you.